Uh, today I'm going to show you the three ways to install Google Tag Manager on your Shopify or Shopify Plus store. All right, so we have Google Tag Manager here. I have it set in preview mode and we're going to pop over here. This is the website that I'm going to show how to install three different ways. All right, so the first option is we are going to grab this Google Tag Manager snippet and I'm going to copy everything except for the opening, opening and closing script tags. So I'm just highlighting it here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to jump over here to the admin. So I'm in Preferences, Google Analytics, Add Custom JavaScript. I'm going to copy that bad boy in there. Save. And now if I head over to the front end and refresh, we can see that we now have the Tag Manager preview debug mode showing here. So it's that simple. All right. That's option number one. We're going to clear this back out, save, and now we'll do option number two. Back in Google Tag Manager, we're going to grab the entire code this time, so the entire snippet, and we're going to We'll head over to the theme. So I'm under themes and then edit code. And now I'm going to go to my theme.liquid. So this is your header and footer. So this is what is going to appear on every page. So collection pages, product pages, etc. cetera. Um, I like to put this just below our meta robots or meta tags. I'm going to copy that in there. And now we also, in this version, we can also use the no script snippet as well. So I'm just going to copy that, go back to our theme. I'll go all the way down to the bottom. Um, you can either put it at the top of the body or the, or the bottom of the body. I usually put it at the bottom. And now click the save. All right. So now if I head back over here, refresh. Again, remember we, we removed it from the preferences, we just added it into the theme, and you'll see that now the debug mode is still here. All right, third option, which is my favorite option, is using our app. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the two scripts I just copied in here. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna go back to the front end, and you'll see here, we actually did not have much of a data layer at all. Uh, if I were to go to this collections page, um, you won't see anything because I just removed the GTM snippet. So you just have to trust me on this one. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go back to our online store and go to our apps. So this is our Google Tag Manager Suite app. Uh, I'm gonna, while that's loading, I'm gonna grab my GTM container ID. I'm going to copy this and go down to our input GTM container ID and app settings. Save and update. Then now this is saved. Go back to the front end one more time. Reload. All right, so now GTM is back, plus we have all of this amazing data layer variables that you can use for remarketing, uh, Facebook pixel tracking, uh, Google Analytics, if you're on Shopify Plus, um, it's all in there. But um, as you can see, the, the first two ways are the DIY, you can do it yourself. You can see it takes less than a minute. Um, and then the third option is how to install our app. Um, if you have any questions, please leave comments. I do try to answer everything. Thank you so much.